Yo. G G G Lee on the truck. Yo. If you look at where we at, and if you look at where we came from, what would you think? G Lee on the truck. Uh. If I could have one wish, it'd be that nigga stop dying over dumb shit. See niggas die when they guilty, niggas die when they innocent. Wrong place, wrong time, my nigga died of coincidence. That's the shit I don't like, shit that I can't stand. Every night, two guns playing, right where we grew up, bam. Four fathers for the equality, and they drew up plan. But now, niggas kill more niggas than the Ku Klux Klan. We just chasing cheese, caught up in the mice trap. Shit, I think I might trap, so obviously I like traps. Obviously, I don't appreciate the civil rights act. John Span. Some people know me as John Lee Span. And now I'm in this channel of Lost Part 2. This is a big deal, man, because Part 1 was awesome. I got to see um, see it for myself backstage. You know what I mean? Working stage in. So I got a little bit of experience as far as, you know, behind stage also. I play Trevor, a uh, strong father who was trying to mend things with his daughter. He doesn't see eye to eye with her mother. I bring a lot to Trevor because I'm a father first, so as a father, a strong father figure, you would want to be in your daughter's life. If you know this I mean? was to ever happen with any of my children, I would try my, my hardest, like my damnest, to get back to him. And this is what Trevor is trying to do. Trevor is, you know, trying to mend this and, you know, let his daughter know that he's there for and always have been. You know what I mean? It's just been issues that him and him and her mother, you know what I mean, they couldn't see eye to eye. So Me being a son also, um, and was a teenager, uh, we wanted my father to be there with a lot of issues that, you know, that, that involved, that happened in my life, that revolved around my life. But of course he wasn't, you know, I don't hold it against him, but um, he definitely mended it in the end and I accepted it. And as, you know, hopefully my daughter, you know what I mean, as plain as Trevor, she would accept my apology also, you know, so. You know what I mean, big ups to Kalik and, um, and Steve for that one, man. <laughs> and uh, Bilal for, for, you know, writing that guy into the play, man. I want to become a better performer so I become a bigger voice. And what I mean by that is that, okay, everybody knows John. I'm a social person. And you could come to me and talk to me about anything. But if I was at another level, you know what I mean? You know how people look up to Jeezy and all of them. They like, this dude is real and all that. You, you already know I'm real. You know about my life. I give it to you. So what I'm saying is that, you know, I would want to be a bit of a bigger voice, be able to lend my voice more to the people, to the kids, you know what I mean? My, I myself have been through some um, trials and tribulation as a young youth. Triumphantly, you know, I never went back to the, to the way that I was. So I think people would listen to me more, you know what I mean? Like if I was that guy behind it, you know what I mean? Just a little bit more edge, you know what I mean? They listen to me now, but it's nothing... When they see success, they be like, oh, all right, he made it, so I know I got a chance. Clean. We just chasing cheese, caught up in the mice trap. Shit, I think I might trap, so obviously I like traps. Obviously, I don't appreciate the Civil Rights Act. Cause they fought for freedom, man, I'm about to give it right back.